Hey everybody, I can't believe I didn't notice this before, but we have a really important watch coming up at the end of March this year. March 29th, 2016 is 1260 days from October 16th, 2012, when the sign of Revelation 12 occurred. The reason this may be important is in Revelation 12, the very next event after the celestial sign is a 1260-day period. The celestial sign in Revelation 12 is very rare. It most recently occurred in October of 2012, and the time before that was in the year 1570, and it will not occur again for another 500 years in 2454. Also, the recent fulfillment of the sign in 2012 was not isolated. It occurred in exact accordance with prophecy. It occurred one month after the recent fulfillment of Daniel's 1290 and 1335 days on the exact appointed date of trumpets on the true calendar in 2012. And I just want to point out that the standard Jewish calendar is now in alignment with the true calendar in 2016, but they should have been in alignment with it in 2012 also. If they were following the instructions in the Bible, then they would have known the true date of trumpets in 2012, but they didn't because they have their own human methods that they do it by. So they were not aware that the sign occurred on the appointed time of trumpets in 2012. But it did, and as I said, they are now in alignment with the true calendar in 2016, but they were not three and a half years ago. Because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to look at the sun and the moon every single year and align the calendar every single year. You're not supposed to be just going along doing your own thing for 10 or 20 years, and then at some point in the future you decide, oh, okay, let's align the calendar this year. That's not how it's supposed to work. That's That's what they did. And so in 2012, their calendar was off. In 2013, their calendar was off. In 2014 and 2015, their calendar was off. And then finally in 2016, they decided to align it. So now their calendar is correct this year. But what I'm saying is three and a half years ago, the calendar was the same as it is this year. The same methods we used this year, we used in 2012. So the true calendar was not off in 2012. The standard human Jewish calendar was off in 2012, okay? So the Feast of Trumpets is literally translated as the sign of trumpets in Leviticus 23. And that sign of the trumpet literally occurred at the biblical appointed time in 2012. In addition to the fulfillment of the sign on true trumpets, one month after the fulfillments of Daniel 12 in 2012, the sign also occurred in the midst of Daniel 9's seven-year period. And that seven-year period, again, is not an isolated fulfillment. It cannot commence until the fulfillments of the commandment to restore Jerusalem, the 7 and 62 Shabuah, and the confirming of the covenant. Also, in Bible prophecy, it's clear that the sign of Revelation 12 must occur at the setting up of the abomination of desolation, otherwise translated as the idol of terror. And the setting up of the idol of terror must occur 1290 days after the taking of the oath of the position. That's an alternate translation. That was the recent fulfillment. So this sign is extremely important. It is the exact fulfillment in exact accordance with Bible prophecy. The fact that most Christians are unaware of it is also a fulfillment of the prophecy. And again, because the sign precedes a 1260-day period in the prophecy, the 1260-day period right after the sign in 2012 may be significant. So the sign occurred on October 16th, 2012, and 1260 days from that date ends on March 29th, 2016. And the end of the 1260-day period in Bible prophecy represents on one level the impact of the meteorite and on another level the war in heaven. So this watch is extremely important, and there's something else about this March 29th date that caught my attention. For the past two months, in January and February 2016, a series of visions and dreams that were posted to YouTube in 2012 have been coming true in a predictable pattern. 
One of the dreams within that series posted in 2012 involves the planet Jupiter next to another unknown celestial object. That's when I noticed that on one of the dates associated with this recent pattern of fulfillments, Jupiter reaches the same general location where Comet Elenin was in March of 2011, when the last axis shift occurred. But the location of Jupiter on March 11th and 12th, 2016, is actually closer to the position that Elenin was in on March 29th, 2011. And that's significant for several reasons. First, as I said, March 29th, 2016 is exactly 1260 days from the fulfillment of the sign in Revelation 12, which in the prophecy itself is followed by a 1260 day period. Second, it's the date that Elenin reached the same position in 2011 that Jupiter is in on March 11th and 12th, 2016. And again, the reason this matters is we had a series of recent dream fulfillments pointing to both Jupiter's position and March 12th, which is where Elenin was in 2011, which was the first dream fulfillment. So the fulfillments of the dreams and visions started in 2011. It started on that Japan quake and axis shift that I dreamt about two months before it happened. Since then, there is a whole playlist of dreams and visions that have been coming true for the past five years, but that was the first one. So what seems significant to me is that here we are in the seventh year of Daniel's seven-year period, and it almost seems like these dreams and visions are coming around full circle. So now this dream I had in 2012 about Jupiter being next to some unknown object is part of a series of dreams and visions that is coming true right now in January and February 2016. And it just so happens that Jupiter is right now in the same general location where Elenin was in 2011 when this whole thing started. So Elenin reached Jupiter's 2016 position on March 29th, 2011. And there's one other element to this. In 2011, it was either in January, February, or March of 2011, I also saw a vision of a calendar with the date March 31st. Well, at the time, there was an actual event in my personal life that happened on March 31st. But again, I didn't see the year, so it could be something in the future. Maybe not this year, or who knows what, I, I don't know. But the fact that this March 29th date is connected to 2011 and connected to this major sign that occurred in 2012 and the series of dreams that I had in 2012 that are coming true right now, that is the reason that I personally will be watching what occurs, if anything, on the three-day window between March 29th and March 31st. So for more information on anything mentioned in this video, I recommend watching the playlist Bible's Countdown to the Meteorite and Rescue linked here or below this video on YouTube. And thank you to everyone who supports this work. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you next week.